Hello and welcome. I'm Nave 42 and in this episode I'm going to be showing you the Logitech C920 setup with the Raspberry Pi on my 3D printer. So recently I got some blue painters tape from Wilkinson's, which is a local department store in the UK. Um, I've attached it to the bed, I've got a fresh bed, so I'm going to do a test cube with the new camera actually added. Now the camera to be added wasn't really that difficult. There's a few things that I might try out in the future. But at the moment, all I've got is my Logitech C920 sitting on top of my old masking tape wheel facing the print bed uh, in that direction. So in order to actually attach this, I just plugged it into the Raspberry Pi inside the main box over here. Um, and the wire is trailing out the bottom. Now in the future, I'd probably like to actually um, get it a bit more stably added to the printer. So it would be good to have it coming off here maybe, if you can see that area. Um, coming off the front uh, and maybe being uh, a permanent mount there um, I might have to design something for that myself I found a few things online where it actually attaches to the bed um, or to the undercarriage of the bed but I don't really want to attach it to that uh, because then it will be constantly moving it adds an extra like factor of issues to potential prints of the future and I don't want to do that as much as I can because <laughs> I'm already trying to like make the print more perfect. Adding an extra issue to potentially happen to the print is not a good thing to do. So I'm going to show you this uh, new camera, see how it goes uh, with a test print of a one centimeter cube, as you do. And here we have it. Here's the final cube that has been printed. It's. Uh, it's okay, it's not the best. I need to do some more things with the printer because uh, something is going wrong here and I'm not really fully sure uh, what it is. But when I check the sides again, I check top down, we've got a 10.1, a 9.9 now, uh, and a 10.5. So that's, that's like half a millimeter too tall, uh, which is not a good thing. I'm not sure if that could be to do with the build plate because I have just changed the surface. I'm going to recalibrate it all um, and I'll re-look into that and I'll see what I can post about this um, in the sense of maybe maybe I can fix this. Uh, maybe I can fix this. So next episode I'll probably talk to you about um, this issue that I have right now uh, and also how I fixed it. So hopefully by then I have fixed it. If I haven't then I don't know. I don't. I, I really don't know. Using this blue tape though, it does seem to stick a lot better than the white tape that I was using, uh, which has kind of surprised me a little bit. Uh, the white tape does feel a lot more. Yeah, the blue tape feels a lot more sticky, more sticky, but like a uh, rough than the white tape. The white tape, it does feel fairly smooth actually. So that probably explains everything there, right there. Uh, and apparently the blue tape comes up with no stick. Uh, or no slime left on the build plate, uh, plate, which would be nice because the white tape did leave that uh, residue, which is never nice, uh, and it means that I had to spend a little bit of time cleaning it up. But anyway, that um, that about does it for today. Tell me what you thought of the uh, time lapse video. Hopefully, it came out quite well. Uh, if you don't like it, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you do like it, also let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know what you want to see next uh, because there's a lot of things that I can do with this printer. A lot of things that people don't know with this printer and uh, yeah it'd be great to get your input and your suggestions and things like that and what you want to see me do with this printer i'll be going back with um the modeling and stuff soon as well so that might be the next episode or a few episodes real soon um because i do want to work back on this game i've got the manual ready version one of the manual ready um i'm not sure how to release it in a sense that will make sure that it doesn't get stolen and replicated and sold and in a sense that it's still a fully functioning manual that anyone can read you know what I mean um, it's a very tricky uh, situation but yeah I'm looking into that at the moment if anyone has any ideas or help with that let us know in the comment section below or private message me on like Twitter or something love to hear from you so yeah that does do it for today thanks for watching 